They served our country, and now the Claire White Mission is helping homeless veterans. The idea for the Beaver Street Veterans Villa was thought up in 2009. It is going to offer veterans a place to live, helping them learn to budget, giving them financial, financial counseling, job training, placement, substance abuse counseling, and much, much more. Things that are very needed for our veterans in a town where we love our veterans. We know that they settle here. This is a very important issue. So joining me now, we have President and CEO of Claire White Mission, Jacoby Pittman. Also, Calvin Reed, who is a veteran, and Vianne, did I get it? Marchez, <laughs> she's the regional representative all the way from Gainesville. Appreciate you all for coming in. You know, let's talk about this issue. You know, the president just sat down with anchors from CNN talking about how our veterans are, are beloved. It is one of the most respected positions out there, but then they come home and they have challenges like this and that support isn't always there. I think VA has made for the last five years, six years, a real priority on ending homelessness among veterans and we've made such progress and I think Jacksonville is really a, uh, a beacon of of how that can really work. Jacksonville has seen a huge decline in the number of homeless veterans and is really a leader in advancing some of our best practices to make sure that veterans who may fall into homelessness uh, don't remain homeless uh, very long and they get back into housing and the services that they need. And we're excited to be a partner in that with the Claire White And Mission. I was going to say these partnerships are what makes it happen. I mean, you're on the ground, you're working with these homeless veterans, homeless people in the community, so you know the need here Absolutely. locally. So Absolutely. you're excited about this new villa. Absolutely. I'm very excited, especially with the financial support that we've received from the city of Jacksonville and several of our partners. So I want to make sure that we, we thank them. And we're excited about 16 units for veterans. And we have a 30-day challenge, and we're asking the community to help us um, furnish these apartments. Um, Target is on board with us in terms of going and go to our website and select items. Um, that you would like to purchase for the apartments for our veterans. And then we're also looking for furniture. So we're looking for sponsors to um, sponsor each of the apartments. We have some pictures of the layout. It's really a beautiful design. Right now you have temporary housing for right. our veterans. And this right. is something where they can go, they can call home and mm -hmm. be proud of. Absolutely, absolutely. It's, you know, not only that, um, the, the VA will be located on the first floor mm -hmm. and provide additional comprehensive services. And so having a place that you can call your own and not be on the streets and we're providing comprehensive services. So, you know, our, our ask is to the community because they always step right, up. We're looking for furniture stores. We're um, immediately looking for three rooms that we want to be set up as a showroom. Mm -hmm. And then the remaining rooms we want to, to, to have them furnished. So all the individuals have to do is just show up. Okay, Calvin, mm -hmm. talk to me a little bit about your need. I mean, you, you have friends who are veterans. What's your story? Well, my story is this, is that uh, opportunities like what Claire White Mission is providing at the uh, villa is give a veteran who don't have anything, who's coming straight off the street, opportunity to have a place to stay they can call home while they're in transition. Mm -hmm. You know, it's because they're providing the, uh, the furniture and the household appliances, the uh, plates, uh, towels, and things the of that nature. The little things we all the take little for things granted. That we take yeah. for granted that the person coming off the street don't have is a great opportunity, and they don't have to be uh, wishing and, and going to place to place to provide those things. Can you themselves. give us some insight just with your experience <clears> on why that, the, why that happens? I mean, you would think, you know, they come home, they should be supported, they should have loving accommodations, you know, can you kind of talk to that? Well, you know, you come home and then, you know, everybody is not welcoming you as, as well as they should, you know, so you coming in with different challenges, mental challenges, and some of them result to uh, substance abuse and uh, depression and things of that nature, and uh, so sometimes you have to uh, seek some uh, medical attention, and uh, the VA provides that when you're in a medical program with them, and they try to get a holistic approach for you to be uh, re established in society. So, so the holistic approach of providing you some uh, mental challenge, mental help along with some uh, 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 housing and things of that nature so you Doing have that. opportunity to settle your mind and get back into the focus of uh, living life on life terms. You know, it's a, it's a great it's important. opportunity. All right. And to have the VA on the ground floor mm -hmm. is, is certainly wonderful. Great endeavor. Yes. Guys, we need your help. The community, we need you all to help out. The Claire White Mission needs many, many items to help these veterans feel loved. So we're talking bed sheets, shower curtains, cookware, dinnerware. Yeah, then go just to the website. Go to our, yeah, we put the website <laughs> yes. on ours, .com. You'll find this on the Morning Show page. Click on it. It's a 30-day challenge. Let's get this place open and get it looking good. Appreciate